A majority of conservative MPs have voted to remove Aaron O'Toole as party leader, paving the way for another leadership race, only 18 months after the party finished the last one. I pledge my support and unwavering loyalty to our next leader, and I urge everyone in our party to come together and do the same. In that message posted to Canadians on social media, O'Toole said it was an honour to lead the party and he will stay on as MP for Durham Region. Joining us with reaction this morning is former deputy leader of the party, Lisa Ray. Good morning to you. Good morning again, Anne-Marie. Uh, good morning again. So O'Toole is being replaced by interim leader, uh, caucus voted MP Candace Bergen into that role. Yeah. Uh, let's start there. What do you think of choice uh, uh, for Candace Bergen as interim leader? It's fantastic. I mean, it makes a lot of sense because Candace has the confidence of the caucus. She's been the House leader. She's been the deputy leader. She's a calm head. She listens to MPs and she will be able to keep the ship steady as they go through the next process of finding the new leader. 73 of the 118 MPs who voted wanted to replace O'Toole with somebody else. What's your reaction to the vote and the numbers? I was really surprised how many MPs actually at the end of the day voted to replace him because I had thought it was going to be a lot closer. But I suppose in the days coming up between Monday and the day of the vote yesterday, uh, they just decided that they wanted a fresh start and that's how the vote went. Uh, the party's going to have to organize a, a leadership race, another leadership race. We're in a, mar a minority parliament situation, uh, you know, when an election could be, t could be called yeah. at any time, but not when the party's <laughs> in disarray. Uh, t talk to us about this leadership race. How does this need to go? Well, uh, I ran the last leadership race for the party, mm -hmm. and it is not an easy thing to do. They have to set up a committee first. They have to determine what the rules are going to be for it, and then they have to start the process of figuring out, are they going to have something online? Are they going to do something that's out in the public? And they'll have to consult with membership to see what they're up for. So let's talk about choice of leadership, because this seems to have come down to a leadership issue. They weren't happy yeah. with the leadership, but they weren't happy with Andrew Scheer, and then they're not happy with Aaron O'Toole. So mm -hmm. is this a party problem or a leadership problem? No, it, it, the problem is, is that they're losing elections, and they've decided that they want to switch up leadership because they don't think it's working to win elections. And they're making very quick decisions because they, they need to. It's a minority government, and they want to make sure that they have the right leader going into the next election. So they will look to this leader to see what they have to say about leading into the next election, and I'm sure that they'll make the right decision because uh the voter always gets it right. On that point of elections, it, you know, it's not just Aaron O'Toole. Every time a leader loses uh, an election run, there is a review. They look about what needs to do. And yeah. the, the decision last time came around that we need a bit of a rebrand. We need to appeal. We need to appeal to a broad spectrum of voters. That mm -hmm. hasn't happened again for a second election. So what do they need to do to make sure that they win? If the, if the end goal is to form government, who needs that job? If I knew, I'd be a very well-paid lobbyist and a very well-paid <laughs> strategist, to be honest. I don't know what the secret sauce is, Anne-Marie, but some leader out there does, and they're going to be putting their names forward, and they're going to have to convince the membership that their path is the right path forward. Are you concerned about a split off to the right people who feel that they no longer belong in the big tent heading over to the PPC? No, I'm not, actually. No, I'm not. I think everybody's going to be interested in what happens in this leadership race, and we'll have lots of people coming out to vote and making that choice. Will they? I guess you can't predict this, but it seems like they know, they know what they need, but they keep voting in the same leader. I don't know. I, I don't know. Andrew and Aaron were very different, um, but I guess at the end of the day, you can only go with who puts their name forward. So yeah. I encourage people to put their name forward. Okay, who do you think should be next leader? Who do you think would be a good candidate? I haven't seen who's coming out yet. I want to see new faces. I want to see new names. I want to see new vision. So I'll be looking forward to seeing who decides that they want to come out and run. Because I do believe that, Amory, at this time, they have a really good shot of winning. Winning the election? Yeah. The upcoming election. Why, what makes you yeah. say that? Because uh, governments in Canada aren't voted in, they're voted out. And the Liberal government has been in power for a long time, and Canadians may be looking for an alternative. And it's the Conservatives' job to show them that they are a viable, safe alternative. Let me push you on that a little bit, because if they mm -hmm. couldn't win during the blackface scandal and the, uh, against mm -hmm. the Liberals, and they couldn't win it with the ethics scandal against the Liberals, what makes mm -hmm. you think that this is the time? Because voters vote with their pocketbook. And there's going to be some serious discussions about the economy going forward, debt and deficit. And that's where the Conservatives seem to be able to hold their own and have good vision for the country. So that's why I believe that it, it's a more competitive race in the next election.
All right, Lisa Raid, always great to have your thoughts on this. And for the record, are you putting your name forward to run for leadership? No, I'm not. Thanks. Thanks, Lisa. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.